Downtown drivers will need their morning commute. A one way road is now two way. Grand Avenue from 3rd to 5th Avenue was converted into a two way over the weekend. It might not be the only stretch to change. The city of Des Moines is conducting a study into the best way to convert Grand Avenue and Locust Street into two way roads, and they want the public's input as well. Our Griffin Wright joins us with a look at what the cha challenges the city faces when doing this. Griffin, good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. So like you said, I'm right out here on that portion of Grand Avenue and really it's just interesting to see uh, cars going the other way than what you would expect or are used to here. But really, uh, it's important to take a look at why they're making this conversion for Grand and Locust. And that all starts back in 2017 when the city adopted the Connect Downtown plan to improve the city's walkability and the conversion of Grand and Locust to two way streets is a part of it. But it's not as easy as painting new lines and calling it good. There is a lot to consider when changing two of the city's most traveled arteries. And that's why they are conducting a study now to find solutions for potential problems down the road. That's looking at things from parking impacts to uh, now introducing more conflict points in an intersection. When you go to two way, there'll be more different turning movements uh, and more conflict points. What does that do? Uh, for, for vehicle delays and progression, right? We don't want our transit, our bus uh, trips to take longer uh, to get up and down uh, Grand Avenue and Locust Street. Yeah, so the city is taking their time to make sure they're doing things right here. Uh, they're talking to business owners and residents up and down Grand and Locust uh, to really get their feedback and some of their concerns and things like that. They even have a page on their website where people can leave comments about the project overall. And that's really what the study's aim is to do is to figure out what they need to change or uh, any, any things that may come up that they'll need to address before actually breaking ground. Now, Griffin, we know that this study started back in 2017, but when do we think that they'll wrap this up? Yep, so uh, the Connect Downtown study started in 2017. That was a high level one uh, looking really just broad strokes, what they can do to improve walkability around the city. But uh, with this specific study, which is actually starting this year, it is narrowing specific laser focus on that grand and locust two way conversion. And they're expecting that to end up or finish up in the next couple years. Uh, and then they'll be able to start breaking ground and implementing a lot of these changes and really, really figure out uh, the next few miles of grand and locust rather than just this narrow portion here on third and fifth. Like you said, Griffin, a lot to consider. Thank